Don't be alarmed. I'm not really a werewolf. It was just a mask. A little bit of Hollywood movie magic. Now, if you're not familiar with the Grim Life Collective, basically, we travel the country and soon to be the world visiting real life horror locations. And you may have seen us in such videos with horror icons like Tom Savini, where we visited his home and his school, or our Halloween special where we sat on the front porch of Buffalo Bill's house from Silence of the Lambs with the iconic, the legendary, the terrifying Doug Bradley. Well, we're about ready to start a new adventure into the world of horror. You see, Jessica and I now are officially co-producers on a new movie that's coming out next year called The Forest Hills. Hey, how you doing? This is Rico again. I'm up in the beautiful mountains of the Catskills in upstate New York. I'm on a two mile hike trying to get away from that boring Monday nine to five job that we all hate. Every fucking time you do, you make a goddamn mess. I'm done. Well, what we can do is prescribe you another medication, one that may make you feel better. I just don't like the way they made me feel. Every day, I try to do my best. I do. And I know that you do too. I'm constantly struggling. Deep down inside, I... I'm trying to be something that I'm not. Rico! Yo, Rico. Billy, I need to see you, man. Hurry up, please. Where are you? What's up, man? Rico. Rico. You're a fucking murderer, Rico! Taking your medication is very important. What the fuck is saying, thing? You're the deep fucking shit right now, okay? Your stories of hard work and courage have been so inspiring to me. I'm especially proud of my brother right here, Rico. Let's focus on this, man. I'll tell you what, if that werewolf comes, BAM! Blow that motherfucker right away. For the one who wishes to be covered in fur, rip flesh, shed human skin. The inner wolf is ready to be released. For the one who wishes to be covered in fur, rip flesh, shed human skin. After watching that trailer, a few faces might have looked familiar. For instance, Shelley Duvall, she's in it. Her first acting role in over 20 years, you know her from the Shining and Popeye, Edward Furlong from Pet Cemetery 2 and Terminator 2, Dee Wallace from The Howling and E.T., Felicia Rose from Sleepaway Camp, Stacy Nelkin from Halloween 3, and this is our first time seeing this guy on screen in a very unsettling performance, but a guy by the name of Chico Mendez plays Rico. How do you feel about returning to acting after 20 years and how has the experience been for you? 
after 20 years, I know that's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> but it's been great. <laughs> it really has. It feels good. Makes me want to do more acting. It's actually so much fun <laughs> to act in a movie. It really is. And uh, you should pre appreciate every minute of it. Um, I know there's a lot of people who want to be in the movies. And uh, you want to be in good movies is what you want to be in. You just fall in love with the crews. They're always nice. This is Chica, the star of the film. I could not have done it without her because we need each other. But acting is not acting, it's free acting. Well, when I saw the trailer and saw you in that, I was like, oh, God. Oh, this guy is like, what is this, Robert De Niro? Oh. No, but I mean, it's a um, big competition for De Niro. Oh. You don't want to have to take every role that comes along. You, every movie that comes along, you want to be able to choose. <laughs> you know, it, it's nice to work on something where, you know, people have put a lot of love or, or, or um, you know, just, uh, there's a lot of love in it, you know, like some, someone, someone, uh, someone really believes in this, uh, you know, S Scott Goldberg, for instance, who's doing this, uh, you know, this is his his thing, man. I, uh, yesterday they had me putting on a mask and fucking weird shit, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit, man? But you know what? I know he believes in it, and that makes me happy, man. I, I love helping in any way I can for people to make their own sort of little art, you know? And it's hard to do that, you know? It's, it's really hard to do that these days. And I, I commend anyone who has the, uh, has the balls to uh, actually go through with that. I got involved in the Forest Hills um, by having a really nice um, friendship with Scott Goldberg over emails. We would chat and I admire him and his work. And we'd been talking about other projects and then he mentioned this film and I, I love Dee Wallace and I love Eddie Furlong, they're friends of mine. So when he mentioned not only um, would you read for the part of the doctor in the film, but it would be opposite Shelley Duvall. It was like, I'll do anything, <laughs> what what can I do? And um, I read the scene and I sent it to him and fortunately he, he liked the scene and he called me and now we're here in Austin, Texas making this amazing film and I couldn't be happier. I am a really emotional actress so I just try to immerse myself in the scene and really believe the, the situation. But when you work with someone, somebody like Shelley Duvall who lights up the whole room and is so freaking honest and genuine when you look at her. All you have to do is just be honest right back and and connect and the scene is just so fun to um, to work on with a legend like Shelley Duvall. I could just sit there and listen to her just talk about anything, she's amazing. Our friend Scott Goldberg is the writer and the director of The Forest Hills, and the story that this man has created is very unnerving. We just watched the assembly edit and its completion, and uh, it's pretty twisted. Now, when it comes to this video, we're making it for a couple different reasons. The first one being, we're very proud that we're co-producers on The Forest Hills. It's an independent horror film and there's some really awesome names attached to it. People that we've loved, people that we grew up with in the horror industry. Very true. Now, if you want, you too can become a, a part of the filmmaking process. There's an Indiegogo campaign where you can sign up for different perks and get certain things, as well as making this movie happen. I mean, above all, come on, Shelley Duvall. And with that being said, Thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time talking about the upcoming movie, The Forest Hills, where both Jessica and I are co-producers on the movie. Do yourself a favor, check out the Indiegogo campaign, get some different perks, but above all, when the movie comes out, go see it.
My face smells like latex now after wearing the mask today, but it was all worth it. We love you guys and it's just a big thank you to everyone who was involved. And one last thing, happy Halloween. <laughs> It's coming my way wherever I go hard luck Is that it stays Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always